Three Lakes Volleyball last won a regional championship in 1986. In fact, tonight was only the fourth time in 34 years that they've even been in that game. The Jays had a chance to make some history tonight, then NLC champs taking on Niagara. Three Lakes took eight points in a row in the first set. This is the final of those eight points. Emily Fink with a little one ball right in the center and she knows exactly what to do with it. The senior delivering, Jays up 24 to 12. And then Adia George is going to clinch the set for the Jays right through the blocker's hands. Backline can't get to it. Jays take the first set and they would just keep on rolling from there. Second set, Molly Grzynski on her favorite spot, the left pin, you know what happens from there. Three Lakes takes the regional title in straight sets over Niagara. Congratulations to the Blue Jays. Two more teams looking to clinch a regional title. Heavyweights at that. Stratford and Mosini. This match was neck and neck in the first set. Lauren Nagel using every bit of that six foot frame to get this kill. Tigers lead early, but Sheridan Swiderski is going to give it right back. A little bit of precision. Mosini hangs on to win 25-22 in the first set. In set number two, Stratford jumped ahead early, but Mosini came roaring back. Jessica Moore hit it where they ain't. Stratford fought well, but Mosini just a little too much. They win a regional title with a sweep over the Tigers. Some more volleyball scores for you. In Division 4, Prentice takes out Newman Catholic 25-10, 25-12, and 25-21 the final. Big win for Prentice, by the way. Newman made state last year. And Merrill moves on in D1. They sweep Lakeland Union. Now, regional champions are going to be reseeded for the sectional round. Times and opponents for those will be released tomorrow. After going undefeated in conference and capturing their second straight Wisconsin Valley crown, Wausau West Soccer still had one more conference foe in their way to the ultimate goal. Warriors hosting the Marshfield Tigers with a regional championship on the line. Sort of a pattern of those, by the way, today. Midway through the first half, cross, uh, cross pass to Amani Knutson. He's a little pinball wizard. The deflection into the goal, Warriors up by one. Tigers with a chance to tie it in the second half. Sam Rorty with a great free kick that just goes a little over the net. But Wausau West would not let that missed opportunity go unpunished. Gael Medina behind the defense goes far post. He lost his shoe in the process. No worries, though. Warriors go on to win 4-0. Nick Roche serving out three assists in the win. A little closer to home. Rhinelander soccer taking on Anago. Winner advances to play the Medford Raiders on Thursday. Hodag's up 2-0 in the second half and looking for more. Jacob Ostrander. On the breakaway, off the delicious through ball, but he puts it a little too close to the keeper here. It was cold tonight, by the way. Can't wait till this stuff is in the dome, but Bo Howard was plenty hot enough for everybody. He scored all three Hodag goals on the day, including that one. The GNC champs are moving on. They top Anago for the, third, for the third time this season. Now, a week from today, you might be enjoying your Halloween with some scary movies or candy, but a few local runners are gonna do you one better. They'll be competing for a gold medal. The WIAA cross-country sectionals were today and over in Tomahawk. Several athletes had a chance to punch their ticket to the big dance. The Tomahawk Hatchet girls qualified. They had four runners in the top 20, and they made it just ahead of Appleton Xavier. So they, as a team, are off to Colby for the state meet next weekend. In the boys' race, Tomahawk came up just a little short, though they can hang their hat on being back-to-back -back GNC champs. Noah Buckwalter's season will continue, by the way. He took fourth today to advance to individual state.